This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. I'm your host, Tori Slaughter, and together we dive deeper into God's Word, seeking daily inspiration, guidance, and spiritual growth. Turn with me in the scriptures to Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. In the book of Proverbs, known for its wisdom and practical guidance, we find this verse that emphasizes the impact of our words. Proverbs 18.8 reminds us of the destructive nature of gossip and highlights the importance of speaking wisely. Throughout the Bible, we find numerous scriptures that encourage us to use our words wisely, recognizing their potential to bring life, healing, and edification. So for today's Bible study and devotional titled, The Power of Wise Words, let's explore some of these verses and gain insights into the power of speaking wisely. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. This verse reminds us of the impact our words can have on others. A gentle and kind word spoken in love has the power to bring comfort, encouragement, and restoration. On the other hand, harsh and hurtful words can crush someone's spirit, causing pain and damage to their emotional well-being. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. This scripture emphasizes the importance of speaking words that edify and bring benefit to others. Our words should be used to encourage, uplift, and build a positive atmosphere around us. James 1.19 My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. This verse highlights the value of listening attentively before speaking. By being patient and understanding, we can avoid misunderstandings and conflicts that often arise from hasty and thoughtless words. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Here, we are reminded to choose our words carefully, ensuring that they are seasoned with grace. Our speech should reflect the character of Christ, displaying kindness, humility, and love in all our interactions. Proverbs 16.24 Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. This verse beautifully captures the transformative power of uplifting and kind words. Just as honey brings sweetness and healing, our words have the potential to bring comfort, joy, and healing to those who hear them. Circling back to Proverbs 18.8, it serves as a reminder of the destructive nature of gossip and the importance of speaking wisely. Throughout the Bible, we find scriptures that encourage us to use our words to build up, encourage, and bring healing. As believers, we have the responsibility to use our words in a way that reflects Christ's love and character. By speaking wisely, we can contribute to a positive and uplifting environment, fostering healthy relationships and leaving a lasting impact on those around us. Dear friends, let us embrace the wisdom found in God's Word and strive to let our words bring life, healing, and edification to all who hear them. Dear friends, I would like to introduce my friend, my brother in Christ, Brian Sales. Attention coffee lovers. Hello, I'm Brian Sell, CEO of the Warriors Collection brand, and I would love to introduce you to the ultimate destination for premium handcrafted coffee that brings joy, 
and purpose to your daily brew. That's why we're excited to offer you an exclusive deal for a limited time. Enjoy a special discount of 15%. 15% off your purchase when you use promo code PURPOSE at checkout. Visit our website at warriorscollectionbrand.com today. Now, let's transition back into Day 182, The Power of Wise Words by founding writer Tori Slaughter. Gossip. It's a phenomenon that seems to permeate every aspect of our lives, from the water cooler conversations to social media feeds, beauty salons to barbershops, and even within the walls of our churches. We're captivated by the latest rumors, eager to know who did what, why, and how. We keep mental notes or take screenshots, fueling the never-ending narrative. The news spreads like wildfire until someone reveals the truth. But what happens when the truth finally emerges? Suddenly, everything comes to a slow-motion screeching halt, draining the power and enthusiasm out of the gossip mill. It dawns on us that words have the potential to either destroy or give life. We realize the detrimental effects of indulging in gossip and engaging in conversations that serve no beneficial purpose. In today's assigned reading from 2 Kings chapter 18, we witness Hezekiah's reign. He humbly acknowledges his wrongdoings and takes steps to restore order and righteousness. He reestablishes the sacrificial system, reorganizes the priests, and delegates their responsibilities. King Hezekiah goes a step further and demolishes the pagan high places and even the altars. These spaces that once honored false gods are reduced to dust. King Hezekiah and Josiah were among the few who chose to turn away from the gossip and instead nourish themselves and others with God's truth. Even though we may not feel like we're at war or the weapons are being formed against us as followers of Christ, the presence of evil is still rampant. Each time a prominent Christian figure falls prey to scandal, we witness firsthand how quickly the news spreads. But what about us? We have the power to determine what we consume and what we pass on to others. Even when others may not fully grasp God's will for our lives, we must press forward trusting the Lord once clarity has been given. The early church faced similar challenges when they saw the Great Commission as scandalous. However, boldly proclaiming the salvation found in Christ and explaining the interconnectedness of the world under God's rule became their truth serum. Dear friends, let's pray together. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Holy Spirit compel us to live as your ambassadors, guided by wisdom and discernment. In moments of fear, may our hearts remain untroubled, knowing that we are empowered to do, say, and act in accordance with your will. May we be a people who refuse to partake in harmful gossip, but instead spreading the nourishing truth of your love and your grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The Power of Wise Words by founding writer Tori Slaughter A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil in the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? 
What God has begun in you, He will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.